Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a reading vlog that I am so excited for because in this reading vlog I am going to be reading The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty. This is one of my most anticipated books of the year. I loved The Day for Bad Trilogy by S.A. Chakraborty and I have been so excited for this book. I've already started it because it arrived yesterday and I just couldn't wait. <laughs> this is the Waterstones special edition by the way which I will hold up so you can hopefully see the detail on that cover but it also has a really beautiful spine and red sprayed edges. My favourite part though is actually the inside cover which has a very colourful map. I'm about 15% of the way into this so far and I am enjoying it. <laughs> However I didn't like the first chapter of this. This has a very different writing style to the Day for Bad trilogy and I think because I wasn't expecting it I found it quite jarring in the beginning. The first chapter of this or the prologue is basically this scribe who's addressing the reader and explaining what this story is about and typically I don't like second person perspective anyway. So yeah that threw me a little bit. I was really nervous that if the writing continued in that style then I wasn't going to enjoy it but thankfully from the second chapter onwards or from the first chapter onwards it follows Amina's point of view and it's told in more first person. Occasionally she does break the fourth wall and there's like parts where she's addressing this scribe. So yeah whenever that happens it takes me out of the story a little bit however I'm liking the atmosphere and I like Amina as a main character. Basically Amina is a former pirate who was quite famous back in the day. She was very well known. She was very good at her job. However 10 years ago she gave it all up for reasons that we don't actually know yet and she moved to the mountains with her family and she's been focusing on raising her daughter who I think is now around 10 years old. During the past 10 years she's been quite nervous that her former enemies might eventually find her and try and get revenge on her for stuff that she did back then. So she's been living the quiet life however at the start of this book someone finds her and they offer her a job that she can't refuse because they offer her a lot of money to go on this quest and this money would set her and her family up for life so she feels like she can't really refuse and I guess this book is going to be following that adventure hence why it's called The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. and yeah so far I'm intrigued. I really like the main character and I am excited to see what direction this goes in. I had a quick look on Goodreads because I wasn't sure if this was a standalone or if it was the first book in a new series and it looks looks like it is going to be a series so I don't know whether this is going to be like a self-contained story or whether it's going to end on a cliffhanger but either way I am just so excited to be immersed in this world and I'm excited to see how I feel about the characters because I loved the characters in the Day for Bad trilogy and I'm hoping I feel as attached to these characters. My plan is to do updates every 100 pages or so but I'll see if this is split into sections and whether it makes more sense to update you at the end of each section but um yeah I think that's all I have to say for now. I am just so excited to finally have this in my hands and I'm just so happy with this edition. I think it's absolutely stunning. <laughs>
I realised I completely forgot to say in the intro to this vlog, but this video is going to be spoiler free. So don't worry if you haven't read this book yet, because I'm going to talk more about the vibes rather than specific details within the plot. I mean, I am enjoying the plot so far. I'm getting a really good feeling from this book. I feel like we're about to set off on an adventure, which is exactly what I want from this book. I want it to be a really fun time and I'm really liking the characters so far. I feel like we're gonna get a really good found family within this. I also love that we're following an older main character. I feel like we don't have enough books within fantasy that follow older women. I think the main character is in her 40s. I know that she's got a 10 year old daughter, but I like that we're following a character who has experience and who's lived a life. I always find that more relatable than following teenage main characters. So yeah, really liking this so far. I haven't read much today, but I'm gonna hopefully settle down this evening and read another chunk. And yeah, I'm just so happy that I'm liking this because I haven't had the best look so far this year with reading my most anticipated releases, but so far really liking it. I'm really happy. So I am now almost halfway through The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi and I'm still really enjoying this. I feel like my feelings haven't really changed much since I last updated you, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this. It's really fun and it feels fast paced, but also slow paced. <laughs> it feels medium paced. <laughs> the chapters are quite long and so it is taking me a little while every time I pick it up to get back into it. I'm not yet at the stage where I feel obsessed, but all of the chapters feel purposeful so it feels like in every chapter something is happening that's moving the plot along. So yeah it's not like super fast paced but also it's not like dragging or anything and I feel like the second half is where the plot is really going to kick in. I feel like this first half has mostly been set up and obviously it's been introducing us to the characters and things like that. You know what I really love though? I really love reading books about characters who are passionate about something and it's very clear in this that the characters were born to be at sea and it's just a joy to read about. If you have no interest in pirates or sea voyages or swashbuckling adventures then this probably won't be the book for you but I'm really enjoying it so far. Hello everyone, I am here with reading updates because I'm now almost at the end of The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi. I think I've got around 100 pages left, maybe 120 pages, and I know I've said throughout this vlog that I'm really enjoying this, but I am really enjoying this now. The last section that I just read has given me five star feelings, so I'm even more excited to get to the end of this. I'm really hoping that it doesn't let me down and that it's not anticlimactic, but I feel like we've been building up to something, and I'm just just excited to see how it plays out. Some new characters have been introduced which I am really liking. I feel like in general S.A. Chakraborty is really good at writing chemistry between characters and I'm not just talking about romantic chemistry. I think she's really good at building these relationships between characters. They all feel very realistic and well thought out and I like how there's a very wide diverse range of characters in this from different cultures and different countries. There's also LGBTQ Q plus rep as well, which you might not expect from a historical fantasy. Amina is also Muslim and I can't speak on the representation, so I would recommend checking out Own Voices reviews, but I know that Shannon Chakraborty is also Muslim and there was Muslim representation in the Dave of Bad Trilogy, which I'm pretty sure I heard good things about from Own Voices reviewers. There was one point where Amina said something like, I have never been arrogant enough to assure 
assume that God would approve of my actions and I think that's just the perfect way to summarise her character. Like she is very unapologetic but she's very self-aware. I've been trying to think of negatives to do with this book or things that I could say that might help people decide if it's a book that they want to pick up and read and I will say that the magic in this isn't straightforward like there's no magic system or anything like that a lot of the times the magic isn't fully explained but I feel like it makes sense because the characters don't fully understand the magic either I quite like how this mostly feels like a historical adventure but then there is just you know hints of magic woven through and I feel like it's just the perfect blend it's well balanced it's just such a fun time I think that if if the synopsis for this appeals to you then I'd really recommend picking it up it's just been so fun so far and I can't wait to see how it ends I'm hoping that it's a satisfying ending I'm a little bit nervous not gonna lie but I feel like I am at a point now where I just want to sit and devour the rest of this because I was really struggling to put it down last night so I am here to wrap up this vlog and talk through my final thoughts on the adventures of Amina al Sarafi because I finished this last night and I did give it five stars. I ran it through Corpile and it came out as a nine out of ten. It lost points for the writing and logic so I didn't love the writing in this. I felt like it matched the tone of the story and it all made sense. Like I understood why it was written this way but it's just not my kind of thing. I don't really like like it when characters address me as the reader. I just, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> but I did think that it added to the atmosphere, so that's why I still gave the book <laughs> five stars. I also didn't 100% love the way that magic was included in this world, but again, it made sense for the book. So the issues that I had, which aren't really issues, <laughs> but it's more personal preference type things. I like magic that feels logical, whereas this felt more whimsical and there was that sense of anything could happen. I don't know why, but towards the end, I was really struggling to picture certain scenes. It was like my brain was getting confused because there was so much going on. So yeah, I did struggle with that a little bit, but again, it was a personal preference thing. Like, I'm giving the book five stars. I did really love the ending, actually. I thought that this was a really good self-contained story, but it also did a really good job of setting things up for the rest of the series. I also wanted to just quickly talk about Amina again as a main character, because I loved Amina in this. I hope that we get more character development from the side characters in future books, but I loved Amina as a main character. I I found her so complex and I loved the way that this showed her internal struggle. I don't know how to phrase this but when Amina was younger she was formidable and she left behind this legend so even now in the present day she meets people and they know who she is. Obviously as she became older she became a mom and so her priorities had to change but she never really lost that passion and I really loved the way way that this spoke about that. I liked the way that it talked about how just because you get older it doesn't mean that you forget what you used to love just because your priorities have changed. If you've never read anything by this author before then I would really recommend picking up either this book or the David Bad trilogy depending on what you're looking for. This felt more like a historical adventure with fantasy elements whereas the David Bad trilogy felt more like political fantasy. So yeah, depending on your preferences, I would recommend picking up any books by Shannon Chakraborty. I keep wanting to say S.A. Chakraborty, but I think she is going to go by Shannon Chakraborty going forward. But I, yeah, I'm definitely going to be picking up the other books in this series, and I think Shannon Chakraborty is now an author by author for me. I also think if you're used to reading YA fantasy, but you're looking to get into more adult fantasy, then this this and also the David Bad trilogy would be a really good option to start with because this is definitely adult. Like there's some content in this that I think wouldn't be suitable for very young readers.
pages, but the writing is still accessible in my opinion. I am just so happy that this actually lived up to expectations because I had built it up quite a lot in my mind, but yeah, I loved it. Five stars. It is going to be one of my favourite books of the year. Let's be honest. <laughs> but I am going to wrap things up here and say yeah, thanks for watching this vlog if you made it this far. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be because I've edited it up until this point and there wasn't that much footage. So yeah, I don't know how long this vlog is going to be, but I've really enjoyed making it because I have it on record now, the experience of reading this book and how much I loved it. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you've read this book and what you thought of it, or let me know if you're now interested in picking it up. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me, but otherwise I will see you next time. Bye!